the social media circuit with the passport bros and i for one i'm not a passport bro i'm a black man travels and um just want to just on, make sure hold on hold on right. you can't just put that out there and, and not explain the difference <laughs> what right. is the difference well the difference is black man travels i've been doing this way before this the social trend uh passport bros again this is still not a clear definition what is a passport bro is very subjective depending on who you speak to uh one thing i, I realized a lot of the older heads a lot of true tribal veterans want to distance themselves from passport bros because simply the fact that when you think of passport bros you instantly think of women guys traveling for women um for a true tribal veteran we don't travel for women you know women is just part of the experience but it's not our primary objective uh especially if you're a single guy you know within the travel movement we have we do have married men that are traveling with their wives with their families but also till we have single men who are traveling so whatever their objective is you know it's quite clear but the thing is a passport bro is not really there's not a really, real clear definition of what is a passport bro depending on who's telling it you'll get a, a different response but for me as a passport bro based on what i've been seeing and overall perception it seems like passport bro equals traveling for women that's that's the perception that i'm getting uh based on what's being shit i'm sorry no i was gonna no, say no, could you sir, uh, oh, go ahead go ahead yeah, go ahead go ahead no it's on you i didn't hear anything so, yeah. <laughs> well well i was gonna ask you <clears throat> black man travels about so about the passport bros but you did mention on your site a term that i this isn't the first time i actually read this passport cookies yes could you talk about what a passport <laughs> is yeah I, i've never heard that term before yeah uh, the passport pookie is a new term and it's basically you know we as black men we always try to find unique ways to you know make ourselves more grander than the next man there's just something about us that we always tend to do that um lately since after the pandemic there's been a new crop of black men traveling and these more tend to be more your the rowdy cloud you know, your crowd you know the ones that just like throw the money in the egg they travel with their jewelry on they want to be seen and heard we call them the passport pookies um personally i don't have nothing against them because the way someone's the way someone travel does not affect how i travel but within our industry within our own community there is a label to guys who want to be seen and heard like you know throwing money in the air recording you know foolishness out in these countries we consider them as passport pookies because again when you think of pookies in the hood and i'm from miami um what, you know what comes to mind when you think of pookie <laughs> it's just uh the lesser yeah. the lesser uh black men but um you know we we want to carry ourselves a certain manner while while overseas so we try everything we can to uh make ourselves different from other races of men so okay so Oh, Pastor, you got a question? Because I'm a little curious about this. No, sir. No, sir. You can go ahead. So, so, so the passport pookie thing has happened so much that it's actually like a known thing, at least in those that travel often or, or watch travel. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it, it just started happening. I mean, before, keep in mind, when black men were traveling before the whole social media wave, um, there, was, there was still a community of black men traveling. And we, we kind of kept it within the Facebook groups. Then eventually ventured off to the whatsapp groups and now youtube you know now everyone has a camera everyone wants to be a youtuber a content creator so anyone who has a camera now they could just basically tell their story but the thing is what type of story that you that you're illustrating and what we noticed the passport pookie it tend to be the guy like just want to be seen and heard he he's very flamboyant um again the same foolishness you see in the hood like at the clubs they take that same behavior and take it overseas and majority of the time that's not a good looking on on us because already as black men we already have a perception of us based on how the media uh, portrays us in this country 